Hello, welcome back to Fox City ASMR. Today we are shopping at Trader Joe's. I decided that I was gonna get all my groceries at Trader Joe's for the next couple of days. Um, I will be uploading a Foodsco shop with me in a few days after I upload this one. It is about 25 minutes long, which I'm really excited about because I've been doing like 13 minute uh, shop with me vlogs. So yay for Food Sco future video. Um, today I am gonna be grabbing some yellow flowers, some basic $4.99 bunch of flowers. Um, I really, really enjoy having flowers on my kitchen table. It just makes all day just walking into that kitchen, it's nice to have something pretty to look at. I highly suggest it for your mental health to give yourself pretty things to look at that you normally wouldn't. Let's see some avocados for my little mini me's at home right now. My daughter really likes um, a cut up avocado with uh, furikake. She really loves furikake. And then we're going to get some Honeycrisp apples. We are going to the Exploratorium tomorrow. so. I'm grabbing a couple of snacks that we can take with us too. And these apples at $3.99 are always great. They're small enough for a serving and my kids can eat it without wasting half the apple. Let's see, oh, we're getting some mandarins. $3.49 for those. Mm, mandarins. I really like these. I want to get the blood orange oranges that they have down here. You see the one with the black label and the white lettering? Those I have not had and I really want to try. I grabbed some baby spinach because I'm going to be adding this to my tofoki that I'm grabbing in the freezer aisle in a couple of minutes. I love adding spinach to that. I don't know if that's something that Korean people add to it, but um, the spinach, I really like how it softens in the, in the sauce, in the red sauce, and how it like wraps around the tofoki. Um, it's really good. I really like it. You should try it if you haven't yet. Let's see some carrots. They have the best deal on carrots, especially the cut up ones. Let's see here. Oh, some Brussels sprouts, $2.99 for the bag. So I'm definitely going to get that. Let's see some Brussels sprouts. These are really good. I, well, my husband loves cutting this up with bacon. Like he like kind of like slices it very thin and it's, re it's really good. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to grab some. Persian pickle cucumbers. These are again great for little hands. I wash them and then I'll put them in a bag or in like a container and I'll take them as a snack for my kids or for myself too. It's great. And yeah, I paid a little bit over $3 over my budget. I did grab a couple of red onions here for pickling. I really, really love pickling red onions. I love adding honey and pepper and chili flakes. And I like thinly slicing the garlic that I put in there. I also love, I, I tried with the mandolin the other day to thinly slice the red onions, but I think I like thicker like onion cuts. So I think next time I'm gonna do a thicker cut because I like that more of a crunch. Yeah, I definitely like the crunch better than the thin slice. I want to grab some blackberries because of course my kids love that. And I had to go back for these mushrooms. I usually get my mushrooms in Chinatown or I go down to the ferry building to the actual mushroom store that they have there. I think it's called Far West Fungi. And yeah, that's a Pier 1, I believe. And so I, again, I'm gonna get all my groceries this week at Trader Joe's. So right now I'm just organizing everything because I am only, about one third of the way in with groceries so i'm kind of organizing everything so it's easier for her when i take the thumb thumbnail earlier and of course adding the heavy things to the bottom so that when we go to the cheese section and the more delicate snacks i can just add them at the front of the cart all right let's see what are we getting of course i'm getting oh the pineapple is good anything with chili on it i'll i'll take the mango, of course. We're gonna grab some mango for tomorrow because it's just plain old mango, dried mango ingredients to dried mango. Yeah, that's the best. 
Um, so we're gonna grab that for my kids because it's a great snack. It's just mango. <laughs> and these are really good. My son doesn't like, does not like these, but I like them. Passion fruit rounds. I really like them. They are a little, passion fruit's a little bit like pineapple for me. It does irritate my mouth a little bit, but I liked it. And of course, now we know where the $3 that I went over budget went into. And yeah, these are very thin. I don't know what I was thinking trying to put it down, down there. Ooh, we got some raisins, $2.99, $2.99. And that will last us. It's actually lasted us a whole week, this bag before. Not a whole week, sorry, a whole month. My kids like dry fruit, but it's more like a side little snack that we save up for like when we go hiking or when we go to the museums or stuff like that. I grabbed some tortillas, some flour tortillas, some carrot juice. My husband loves carrot juice. I love carrot soup and I love carrots in general, but I do not like carrot juice. And I've tried bitter and I've tried sweet. Oh, if you hear a little bell, that's Salem the cat that I'm cat sitting this week. I'm cat sitting for two weeks. He's really sweet. Ooh, the goat milk. Mmm, which yogurt? Mm, the Greek non-fat yogurt. You can add a lot to that. But I think I'm gonna take the honey. Yeah, honey. Add some hemp seeds on that, some blackberries, and whatever else you wanna add. My brother made some granola bars. And I cut some up and I added that to the top of that. That was really good. Some butter because we're always running out of butter. Some bananas because, again, I have little monkeys at home that love fruit. So we're going to grab that. And these are perfect for, um, for kids' lunches and for going out and having a little picnic. These are great. They're like little thin little sticks of salami. They're so good and so easy to take. You could just grab a little, just snap it open. That's great. Um, I'm also getting some uncured ham for some cheese and ham sandwiches for tomorrow at the Exploratorium. Um, just so you know, one time I grabbed an apple juice and then I grabbed a sparkling bottle of water and I grabbed this one, um, what was it? Like an energy drink that's usually like $3 at Safeway and I paid $17 for three drinks at the Exploratorium. If you don't know, the Exploratorium is a hands-on children's museum. It's mostly like science, how things work, you know, like how rainbows work, how freckles work, how, you know, sometimes you yawn and that kind of triggers an effect that other people yawn. It's a huge science kids museum. But it was $17 for three small drinks. So I definitely recommend to uh, bring your own snacks, bring your own drinks. Grab that six pack of apple juices or that 64 flower hounds of apple juice at the store and fill up your own little cup and bring it to the zoo. You know, make yourself a picnic. This is such a great memory and food at these places is overpriced and it's not usually very good. You know, maybe instead, you know, do something else with that and you know pay for the tickets to the museum or you know buy a stuffy at the little store that those museums tend to have or i don't know do something better with that than buying the food there it's very expensive so i am grabbing a couple of these little mozzarella balls i love having them with the takis but i also like them on the side because it's such an easy little cheese snack to take with you these were really good i really enjoy them with like dipping them in salsa pea and chickpea snacks they're really good um they're they just kind of taste like a regular like you know those veggie snacks yeah like they just taste like that which i really enjoy and it's just something light and salty a little bit and i love that it's made out of peas and chickpeas which is crazy because there was a there was once a time i hated peas See some fusilli, rigatoni, spaghetti, and it's 99 cents. A couple of the things at Trader Joe's have gone up, but this pasta has not gone up yet. That will be a sad day when it's no longer 99 cents. Let's see. Ooh, those Thai chili almonds that were hanging there on the side. My brother bought those ones when he was visiting, and they were really good. All right, fusilli it is. And I know, I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. Is it from Fusilli? I can't say. 
I will try though. I will look it up right after I finish this video just to make sure because I really don't. Did the spaghetti. Let's see. Full fit. Yep, that's it. Okay. Two types of pasta this week. Um, I have not made any pasta yet, but I'm thinking that's probably in a couple of days. Ooh, I really want to get some quinoa, but I'm not, I don't really have a big passion for, for quinoa, for quinoa, uh, for quinoa. Uh, ooh, look at these noodles. Sesame sauce, what, soy and sesame sauce. Ooh, I might grab these next time. Hmm. Again, when it comes to noodles, I like to go support my local um, Asian markets in my neighborhood rather than like a big, big company store like Trader Joe's. So we're going to grab those. I'm definitely going to go back to ramen and get some at Kiki's. I'm due to visit Kiki because it is out of the way for us. It's hard when the kids are not at school because we usually would go out of our way after school to go there and now there's not a reason to pass by there right now but i should go back soon i'm definitely gonna go this week oh my triple key um let's see this is the one that i like to add the spinach to and i'm gonna add the mushrooms to it too because i was gonna do a stir fry for the mushrooms but i'm gonna add them to this i got some green onions that i'm gonna go back for because i forgot about those I could go back and get those and meatballs. I'm not sure. I have about like a pound and a half of ground beef in the freezer right now. So I don't know if I should get the little mini meatballs and make my life way easier for the kids or I should just make my own. It's just like six dollars plus tax to get one of these bags. You really are paying for the convenience of not having to wash all the dishes and you know the time it spends to roll all the meatballs but it really isn't that long if you actually get around to do it it's just you know like adding the seasonings and then just mixing it all and just making the meatball as bigger as little as you want and you put it in a pan with a little olive oil fry, not fry the sides but like cook the sides where until they're brown and then you put them in the you add the the sauce and you let them simmer I know, right? It's, it's just it's so easy, but I get it. Ooh, look at these gnocchi. I've tried the one on the far right in the back. I've tried that before. I did try, there was, let's see, which one was the other one? The cauliflower one I tried, and I've tried the sweet potato one that I've, I've actually picked up already. The casu de pepe, I have not, but I think I am going to go back for that. Let's see. A lot of different types of gnocchi. Oh, I tried the kale gnocchi. I don't think they had it today, but oh, these falafel were a little dry, but I think I might have over, over baked them. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, the pickle ones are good. Let's see. What are these? Ooh, these are vegan chickenless wings. Oh, the corn. Everybody raves about this corn. Let's see. I need the peppers. This would be good for like fajita night or for a soup or something. The edamame. I prefer my edamame unsalted. And i rather just like boil it in water for a couple of minutes than just have it ready for me. I prefer to add my own salt to my edamame. And we love edamame at my house. It's one of the snacks. And I already have some in my freezer. Let's see. Some pan pancake mix with protein. And I did not grab the sugar. I was looking for white sugar because I am going to be pickling a lot of stuff. And I almost grabbed this one, but I don't know. What do you, when you pickle, if you pickle, what do you use? What kind of sugar do you use? Do you not use sugar? Do you use something different that is not sugar? Let me know because I really want to start pickling like monthly. <clears throat> and just like basic. I want to do red onions, I want to do uh, cucumber pickles, I want to do whole garlic pickles, and I want to do ginger pickle. That's what I want to pickle because that's something that we use all the time. Ooh, some mozzarella. I decided to do pizza at the last minute and I usually do my dough from scratch. It's either I buy at Trader Joe's or I make it from scratch. But today I chose convenience because Trader Joe's has really great doughs. And 
either I do a whole large pan with one of these or I split them in half and do thin crust. And today I think I'm gonna do a large one and then split the other one into two thin crusts. Have a little bit of variety for the kids and for ourselves. Cause sometimes we repeat the same stuff, but you know, we try to make it different ways so that we don't get bored. All right, well, it was lovely to shop with you today and I will see you in a couple of days when we go shopping at Fusco for our big, big two to three week grocery haul that's coming up. All right, bye.